hope y'all are doing well. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome for those who are returning. Thanks again for stopping by. Today I'm doing something different. It's my first video of the series that I wanted to start doing. So this is my first lifestyle video. So please bear with me. Okay, you might see a little bit of painting in this video, a little bit of journaling, a little bit of showing my purse. <laughs> as I talk through one year after canceling Facebook. So, <clears throat> and you'll have to excuse me because I'm just getting over a bug. So that's why you didn't see any of my videos um, for, there was like a large gap. Um, that's neither here nor there, but I will be clearing my throat every so often, just so you know, and drinking my hot tea. For those handbag lovers, I finally got a replacement for the bag that I gave to my daughter. She's in Japan now working at a university. Okay, now that I've had my tea and I've showed y'all my bag, let's get down to the purpose of this video. So we're doing it again this year for my church. We are doing a fasting. And last year when we did our fasting, our pastor said, just choose something that it doesn't have to be food. It doesn't have to be sodas. Just choose something that you want to kind of like, I don't know, stay away from and then just fast for, I believe it was like 21 days. I think it was 21 days, but I can't even remember because I went well over the 21 days and I just decided I was not going to return to Facebook. Y'all might have seen my journal lineup for 2022 and this is one of them. This is my brain dump and commonplace book. Okay, let me get another drink of my tea. So I read out a list of some of the advantages. Actually, I should start with the disadvantages. So the disadvantages were no access to family far away and missing events. You know, people post birthdays, weddings, things like that. And so I kind of, you know, miss out on that. And when I say no access to family far away, there I have a lot of family all across the U.S. and outside of the U.S. Um, I've got family in the military. And so, you know, I like seeing everybody's posts and things like that, videos that they post. So that was definitely a disadvantage. And I could only really list only two because that's the purpose of why I was on Facebook is for my family. The advantages, however, outweighed the disadvantages. I had seven of them. The first one is no drama. Drama between family, friends, all those things that I was seeing. I didn't want to get into the middle of that because sometimes someone would then try to bring me into the drama. <laughs> Like they would be like, oh, did you hear what so-and-so? Or can you believe that so-and-so? And I'm just like, okay, well, that's, you know, kind of you guys arguing. I don't want to take sides. Or like if it's, you know, between friends, same thing. Like, you know, uh, you, can you believe this? Or can you believe that? Or sometimes it's even within the post where they're arguing and they'll like put my name on there and be like, hey, what do you think? And I'm just like, y'all are on your own in there. <laughs> And then number two, the no ads or advertisements. I don't like being sold to. I don't know what it is. When I go into a store, I just want to be left alone. I'm going to look around. When I need you, I'll come for you and I'll ask for your help. But I just like to be left alone. And then number three, more time. As you all know, with any social network, you know, you can kind of get lost in time. I mean, you're scrolling, you're liking posts, you're commenting on posts, and then you're just in a vacuum, and then you start messaging one another, you start talking, and then you're just like, then the time is gone. Number four, less mind clutter. There was just so much going on. As y'all know, 2020 happened, and a lot of people were not agreeing with one another. <laughs> All around. And it's still happening to this day, I know, because when I talk to family over the phone or on video chat or something like that, it still is brought up. So even though if I'm away from Facebook, people who are still on Facebook that I talk to, I didn't need that in my mind. And so we really have to be careful as Christians to keep things in our mind that are positive. I'll get to that in just a moment when I flip through to the next Thing that I want to discuss. So number five is more privacy. Even in scripture, it says to live a quiet life. You know, don't get into people's business. You know, don't gossip, things like that. I mean, try to do the right thing and, you know, not get involved. Number six, 
I wasn't attached to my phone. So whenever we were still working in the office, during my lunch and my breaks, I would be on my phone looking at everybody's posts and things like that. And it would just, you know, time would slip away. And even when I started working from home, the same things were going on. So I noticed after I quit Facebook, I wasn't attached to my phone. I could actually leave my phone in the office room, go downstairs, enjoy my lunch, maybe read a little bit, you know, things like that. Or just, you know, have quiet time in my brain. <laughs> All right, let me have another sip of my coffee, sorry. Oops, not coffee, it's actually tea. I am a serious coffee drinker, but that's another thing that I need to get away from is coffee. Okay. Oh my goodness, I didn't even have her in my camera shot. Okay, let me see if y'all can see her. There we go. There she is. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she cute? Oh. After almost a year, it's going to be a year in like one month from now. It's going to be one full year since I got my original bag. That was a long wait, but she's well worth it. I'm super, super happy. I didn't think Denny and Burke was going to replenish them because it was out of stock for a really long time, I mean. But I didn't get her in the Timora color. It only had one color and the color was black. <laughs> I have a lot of black bags and yeah, I said I wouldn't get another black bag, but this particular silhouette, yes, I had to get. Sometimes that Danny and Burke launches a bag and then when they sell out, they don't relaunch it until after so many years, like three years. <sighs> which there is going to be another bag reveal. So stay tuned for that in the future. I'm still editing it, but anyway, okay, enough about the bags. This video is supposed to be all about lifestyle and my bags again are taking over, so. <laughs> okay, y'all, my battery died. <laughs> so I'm filming the second half of this. Um, I started it yesterday and so now today, yeah, the joys of filming. Anyway, I gotta hurry up because <laughs> My battery is halfway again. Where was I? Okay, when I canceled Facebook, it led to sharing on YouTube. I know, if you would have told me like a year ago that I was going to start sharing on YouTube, I would have been like, no way, because I'm a bona fide introvert, like seriously. Okay, so the reason behind the name of my channel, which is Jedi at Triple Seven. First, I am a Christian. That's my identity. And so Triple Seven is the number of our Lord. And Jedi Up, I'm a big Star Wars fan. So Jedi is the main character in Star Wars. And it's basically a good guy fighting against evil. And so to Jedi Up, means to level up for God. I mean, if I put all of it together, Jedi uh, Triple Seven is to level up for God or, you know, to be, you know, a better person. Um, only God can change you though. Um, by no means am I saying I'm perfect or anything like that. Please don't misunderstand. I am nothing of the sort. So I just want everyone to know, I'm not saying if you, you know, give your life to God that all of a sudden you're going to turn perfect. That's not the case. We're still living in an imperfect world. So anyway, my goal for this channel is to be encouraging to my viewers because life is hard enough. I mean, there's enough hatred, anger, pain, and sadness in our world. Why not be the opposite? So we can be loving, happy for others when they are blessed, encourage others that experience hurt, speak kindly to those that mock or dislike us, and not follow in those ways of the world. So anyway, I was on my last bullet point, number seven, when my battery died. And so no more negativity, politics, family family feud, friend feuds. So as I mentioned earlier, I wasn't in feuds with family or friends. I was just seeing it on Facebook. And during 2020, there was a lot of debate on whether to get something or not get something, wear it or not wear it. There's just so many arguments and it started to affect my work life because I was really irritated at work. In addition to that, it started to creep in my home. I was just, you know, snappy. I'm like, what's going on? Why am I so snappy? Then I realized that was it. It was all the, you know, negativity that I was absorbing. After I quit Facebook, it was like the best decision, one of the best decisions. I don't regret it at all. And I don't see myself going back to it. So let's see what kind of top should she have. I'm just so glad I left. I really am glad. So basically for anyone thinking about 
canceling social media. It doesn't have to be Facebook. It could be any type of social media. Twitter, what other ones are there? Instagram, TikTok. There was a medical study done recently that social media or social networks are actually causing a lot of depression and anxiety because, you know, what we feed into our minds, just, you know, what we consume, that actually affects your mental well-being. So if you're seeing a lot of negativity and stuff like that, or um, I think what the medical research uh, was showing was that people were getting depressed because they look at other people's lives and it's not like their own and so they feel like insufficient. It's sad. So I try to be as a content creator, try to be considerate of other people's, you know, situation. I don't want anyone to feel, you know, like, oh, you know, I don't have the means to get what she's showing on her videos and stuff. The purpose of my very first video on YouTube is because I couldn't find any reviews on the bag that I was telling you about in this bag right here. That's the only purpose why I posted my first video because as a smart consumer, we have to look at things and look at reviews and make sure, at least for me, as a consumer, I have to be sure that if I'm going to buy it, I'm going to keep it and it's going to be with me forever. I'm not the type to, you know, just frivolously get things. So anyway, I know that I went off topic, didn't I, um, about social media. <laughs> I do that. Oh my goodness. You know, I want this to be a conversation, so drop it in the comments below if you've canceled some of your social media or if you're considering canceling your social media. Tell me what your experience was. And by the way, y'all are awesome. I say that all the time, but I have to tell you <laughs> because I am so appreciative of all of y'all. Just amazing, amazing individuals. And I'm glad that some of you have found good tips on my videos that I've shared, and that's all I want. I really just want to be able to be helpful in this community. I'm not here to tell anyone what to do, or I don't ever want my channel to be like, hey, look at me, <laughs> look what I got. I don't ever want that to be my channel, no. Okay, so that's really all I wanted to share. I hope you find it helpful. And if it just helps one person, I'm glad. And like I said, our church is doing it again, fasting. Oh, by the way, update. I am now in the book of Deuteronomy. So it's been um, two weeks that I've been reading my Bible. I said that one of my goals was to read it from front to back again, and I'm on the fifth book. I think it's so cool that I am actually recording the time of this goal that I'm doing. And by the way, my lifestyle videos will be about goals and goal setting and things like that. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to sub so you can follow along. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. I just want to say thank you again to everyone. I appreciate my new subs that subbed recently, the ones that have been with me all this time. You see the progression of my really awful videos where I was whispering in my videos basically because someone finally told me that I need to speak up a little bit and so I'm really thankful to her for that and when she mentioned that a long time ago in the very beginning of my channel. I know I didn't finish this uh, painting. That wasn't my intention. It was more for y'all to be able to see while I'm talking so you're not bored out of your mind. <laughs> but anyway, all right, next chapter. Be on the lookout for more videos. <laughs> I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Take care.